Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to the Culinary Courtesan Quick Bites, bringing you the down and delicious in gastronomy news. Fast, informative, yummy, while you're on the go. I'm Yolanda Shoshana. Let's dig in. Bronx-born haagen has released red chocolate treats just in time for Valentine's Day. Be on the lookout for their ruby cacao and pints and ice cream bars. If you're not familiar with red chocolate, red cacao is a type of cacao that can be found in Ecuador, Brazil, and the Ivory Coast. Since cacao is influenced by its environment, ruby cacao has to be cultivated in specific regions. You will be able to find this red sexy chocolate until September. Shout out to the chocolate cake lovers because National Chocolate Cake Day is on its way, coming through on January 27th. Chocolate cake has been around since 1764. The first time a chocolate cake recipe was published was in 1847 by Eliza Leslie. She was a Philadelphia cookbook author. The book was called The Lady's Receipt Book. The original recipe used chopped chocolate. The first boxed cake mix was created by a company called O. Duff & Sons in the late 1920s. It was Betty Crocker who released the first dry cake mix in 1947. How will you celebrate the day? People are very excited that Popular Irish whiskey, Jameson, dropped a cold brew. The libation is a blend of whiskey infused with coffee flavors made with beans from Brazil and Colombia. It's perfectly balanced with hints of toasted oak, dark chocolate, and rich coffee aromas. Best served chilled over ice or in a cocktail among friends. I can attest to how good it is because I had the pleasure of tasting it at a Jameson party on the Lower East Side in Manhattan. The cold brew is limited edition, but fear not, it will be around at least until St. Patrick's Day. Two Buck Chuck is back and better than ever. Trader Joe's has announced that its famous wine for $1.99, which has gone up throughout the years, is back to $1.99 in California. But before you do a happy dance, you can only get this price of $1.99 in California because it's easier for them to distribute and take to the stores. They are going to try and bring Two Buck Chuck to the rest of us, but... It is what it is. Cheap wine at its finest. There's a yoga retreat in Mexico that brings together drinking and health with a little bit of yoga and astrology. The retreat is called New Year, Do You? And it's at the Havana Riviera Cancun. It's for spiritually conscious folks who aren't quite ready to take the plunge into a 10-day vegan yoga and meditation retreat and cleanse. You can go there and get your astrology, do your yoga, and do a little bit of drinking with a little bit of cleanse. It's the best of all worlds. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Culinary Courtesan Quick Bites. Don't forget to sign up for the Culinary Courtesan Newsletter. And may you get off on gastronomy. Cheers.